Hello and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play Season 3, Part 6. So, as you can see, I did a bit more mining off camera after last part. I dug out a nice large chunk of the slime spawning chunks, and then I just hung around there for a while until I collected enough slime balls. And then I went into one of the nearby caves and found a bunch more diamond and a ton of redstone and some gold and iron and stuff like that. I stuck this chest over here and put my growing stuff and smelting stuff, not smelting stuff, brewing stuff in here. I also did some fishing while I was waiting for the iron and gold to cook. And I made up some smooth stone as well. This part, I'm going to be finally starting the railway system. I'm going to start putting down rails and see how far I get. I'm going to start by crafting uh, 96 rails. No, that's not what I want to do. Unfortunately, it won't let me... But that works. There. If I do that backwards, I have to do the sticks first. That should be enough sticks. Do it that way. And there we go. There. 96 rails. That should be enough. And then. I'm going to make 12 powered rails. I'm almost certainly going to need more than that, but for now that should be sufficient, I think. Like that, and that, like so, there. Grab a bunch of smooth stone. Well, smooth stone work anyway. Like that. All right, I think we're ready. So I'm going to start it here.
Alright, so after that stuff finished smelting, I went ahead and turned it into stone brick and added a layer to my tower. And while I was doing that, I figured out just how I want to do my tower. So I think I have a basic idea of what I'm doing now. And I also, I realized that carrots were actually quite useful, more useful to me than wheat. So I went ahead and took that one carrot I had and some bone meal and converted it, converted my wheat farm here to carrots. And so now I'm going to be farming carrots instead of wheat, because I have, I have plenty of wheat. Um, I also went down to the caves and mined a whole bunch more iron and redstone and coal, because I was running low on coal. And I then smelted up the iron, and then I attempted to record my crafting a bunch of rails and putting them down, but my microphone is off, so whoops. Anyway, so at this point I now have a successful rail connection from this base to my sky base. So now what I'm going to do is grab some more stone brick, like so. And I'm going to go back into my base and use up the stone brick while I put s this stuff. You do so. I'm going to put some more on to smelt. Like so. That's actually too much. I only need eight per stack. Yeah. Like that. And like that that back to there. And then while that's smelting, I'm going to go work on my tower some more. Oh, wait, one more thing. I forgot. I need, I noticed I need a couple more powered rails. Now, let's see. I'm just thinking here. That's 12 powered rails. I'm going to start with that. That should be closer. Now, we just turned to night time, and I'm a little concerned. Let me get that on. Let me go there. Let me go there. That. There we go. It just turned night, and I'm a little bit concerned about uh, mobs spawning on my rails because a large section of it is only one wide, and I have to use rails to work with it. So let's see if we can get around that. Let's see. That's how I did it. Um, I'll come back over here real quick. As you can see, I put levers underneath each brick. It, that will eventually get um, filled in such that you won't be able to see it. And in fact, I'll just demonstrate right now. So. Presumably, well, let's see. If I do it like that, like was the original plan, then it will be visible. And I don't really want that. So I'm thinking it's actually really tricky. 
I'm thinking I'm going to do it like that. The whole way up. So it'll look like that, which should work, I think. So break that. So that and like that. Working in third person is going to be very difficult. Okay. I'm going to. Oh yeah, and, I, and then obviously I'll have torches, like so. Like, like there you go. There, perfect. Stuff like that. So, yeah, okay. But for the time being, it works, and I didn't see any mobs, so for now I'm going to call it good. But yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to go this direction and put my nether portal over here because I would like to at least start invading the nether a little bit so that I can start getting access to some of the stuff in the nether, specifically nether wart and blaze rods. Because I want to get into brewing as soon as I can. But for now, I think I'm going to keep smelting up smooth stone into stone brick and expanding my tower here and but I'm pretty think I'm thinking I'll do that off camera but for now I think I'll take the minecart back to the base so that you can see what that's like I thought I fixed that already. Oh well. Anyway, so that's all for this part. See you in the next one. Bye!